Okay, I've never done this before, so let's see. So I opened up my Silhouette page, oops. Okay, it's on regular. And then I go to Google. First things first, I'm gonna do the fox. Number one key, always Google. Hold on, I'm trying to hold this with one hand because my boyfriend apparently went to work for another 16 hour shift because apparently they don't care if he has a family. Anyways, so always use coloring pages. Genius, I know. I don't know why they never say that. This is the easiest thing you can possibly use. So let's see, I wanna do, well I was gonna do that one but I don't see it on here. See, I mean, I like this one, but if you look, it's kind of like ra like raggedy, kind of edgy. I don't like that. I like clean cut, not clean cut. Like, I want a... Oh, this is so cute. Actually, I like this one. So, you right-click it, save image as... I never type anything because I just never do. Enter. This is my boyfriend's computer anyway, so <laughs> who cares? So, open my silhouette. I go to the button over here where it says, I don't even know. I'm sorry, I just suck at this, but I mean, your visual monitor. Cl oh, double click. Daddy. So then I like to minimize it. Click it, I minimize it so I can be able to see it on my screen. So then you're gonna go over here, click open trace window, select trace area and highlight what you want traced <gasps> Ta -da! but I mean you see all this like you don't want you don't want all that you know so you go over here to I always ugh, favorite one to use and not even kidding I always max it out max it see what it did let me see let me see see when you don't max it but when you max it, I max this, you would see that moving. So anyway, so then it goes like this. Then this is to trace everything. To trace every single thing. The one underneath, trace outer edge, will trace only the outside but none of the inside. So, I mean, I always use trace because, I mean, that's the one I just always use. Unless I only want the outline. So then I click to the side. Then I click on this and I move it. And I minimize my screen so that I can see better. And here's another thing. If you're going to make this smaller, do both of them at the same time. I highlight both. Click the little edge at the bottom and make it shrink. And then click out of it and then go right here. My daughter is going to help me. Say hi. So hold the camera, but you have to hold it like this, Annabelle. Okay, first no. Okay, hold it. Okay, let's see. So then, what I do because I'm a blind bat, most of you probably are. I click this, and I will go over here to open the fill color window, and I always oh click that down. I always use black, black because I mean that's the outline majority of the times. So that's black, foo. That's brown. It's black. It has red in it. That's why it looks weird. So then, arguing with my seven-year-old. Okay, so I click this, and I right-click, and I push Release Compound, and it'll go completely black. Next step. I read it. Uh, you figure out what color, like, okay, for instance, I think this is white or orange. Oh, okay, his body's probably orange. I don't know how a fox looks, to be honest. I don't oh, remember. I know it's orange. Put it's it orange. all orange. Okay. So let's. So you literally click every single thing that you know will be orange. And if you want. Okay. You're going to try. There's a background and it's black. You're just going to. See, that just moved the. I don't want that part. See, look. You see how I did that? I don't want that part. So I'm going to backspace it. Zoom in for y'all. I want that black piece right here. I don't know if you can see it. 
this outline. I, I want this second outline. I want that one to come off. So, oh look, see, there it goes. See? Because this is your background. That's your background. I mean, I always have a black background, so I don't know. This, I want this to be orange as well. To make it quicker, you could just highlight the bottom part. Make that orange. Um, let me see. So the nose will probably be black. I'm thinking this is pink. We'll just say it's pink because I don't honestly remember. Oops, wrong pink. Okay. So I'm assuming this is his tongue. So we'll just do red just because I think it's a tongue. But see that little weird dot? Oh, sorry. That weird dot? I'm just going to click it and push delete because I honestly don't know why that's even in the tongue. But anyways. Oh, I see what it is. See? I mean, you don't need that extra dot. That's just extra vinyl you're going to lose inside the machine. And there's that other dot, too. See that other? I don't really need an extra dot. I mean, that's so tiny, it's going to be lost in the machine anyways. So anyways. So then, okay, that's going to stay black. So what I would do is because the background is black... So basically, anything that's going to be, I think the tail's white, so I'm going to do white. So I'm going to click this tail, click white. That's what I've been doing. Sorry if it's a little fast. So um, his eyes are black right there, but the outside of it is white. So I click that. You know, I'm basically filling in every spot that there is. Um... His eyebrows are black. Yeah. Um, this is probably um, pink, I'm going to assume. Oh, pff, no, it's not. I'm lying. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, it's my first time. Let's click that. Let's see if it changes. Okay, I just want that. I want to do it. I'm going to say pink because I'm assuming his ears are pink. Honestly, don't even know. I should have got a picture I knew. So anyways, back to this. So, oh, I left a part out. So I want that to be orange as well. So that is your fox, basically. I think this is white, to be honest with you. And, Bo, what's the... This is another way I can do it. I will... Oh, what is he from? He's from... He's from a Fox and the Hound, too. Okay, Fox and the Hound, too. So Don't he's say. Gary Gray. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, this is him. Okay. Another thing I would do to make it easier for me. Um, I would look for him. Let's see. So, obviously, that's him, but it doesn't show his full body. So, I want a picture that's something like this. Because, see, that was kind of similar. Right-click it. Save image as. I never type anything, but you can be more organized. I'm not. I never am. Then I go back to Silhouette, and I'm going to go into that open folder. I'm going to find the picture, which is this one. Then I'm going to click it. You can either right click it, co oh, cut, copy, whichever. It's the same thing. Um, go back to that original one and right click. Make sure nothing's clicked. Like I make sure that, you know, I off click it. Then I right click, paste. Where'd it go? Minimize your screen because it goes way over there. Okay, so this is how he truly, oops. It's how he truly looks. So then, let's compare, because now we know. So that, you know, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to click this little whatever button. Even though that's not the color of your vinyl, but it's to know what you're actually cutting. So this, I always, if you accidentally move it a little, I would just push back space, and it goes back to normal. So you click that. You know, I want it that weird brown color click this I wanted that weird brown color his whole face apparently is orange he just looks orange as can be so this part right here is actually gonna be that brown um he just looks weird oh, okay that's probably why because that has to be brown that has to be brown if you want you can put this back it'll help you if not, I just leave it off to the side because I really don't. It's whatever. So then, oh, look, he's so cute. I don't know what his paw colors are. I'm just going to leave them. So then, okay, next thing's next. 
you know, you're going to move that to the side, you move that to the side, you're going to, this is your background color, that's going to stay there no matter what. So I'll just leave that to the side. And then you're going to highlight this, right click, copy, click out of the area, because that's just how me. If you're a hands person, I always put control V at the same time. And that does paste. Whatever you do, please don't click over here. Because see, then you're going to have to move piece by piece. You don't want that. So, you know, right click, paste, or control V. While it's still selected, don't push anything else. Grab anywhere on his body to move the whole entire thing over. See, because I'm not about to move piece by piece because that's just crazy. And let's move this one. I will highlight all of it and move him up. I like to generally get, so there's like one, two, probably like four colors of him. I'll make four copies of him. So then you push paste. While it's still selected, I move him. Right click again, paste. While he's still selected, I'll move him. Because I don't want them to touch at all because then it'll just mess up the thing. So what I do is I start with the main color. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete. I want to start with orange. So I'm just going to start deleting everything but orange. Oops. Where's my delete button? It's so hard to do both at the same time. Delete. You know, just delete. Where's my kid when I need her to hold the phone? She doesn't want to. Delete. You know, it's easier. I'm just gonna push everything. I'm just gonna do this because it's so much easier. I'll delete it at the end. So I'm gonna do every single thing. If you plan on printing it exactly like this I would leave it if you don't I would move piece by piece if you're like me and you can layer it without it having to be like that if that makes any sense you see that little plug piece you have to move that too oh I just moved the whole thing usually when I do that I just push backspace and it goes back to normal see so I just get this oh, you just click until you get it okay so then I'm just gonna push delete I hate my boyfriend's keyboard. So then I'm gonna get this, highlight the whole selected orange. You know what, I made a mistake. Okay. Yeah, you can leave that. Um, I'm, cause I don't feel like editing this video cause I don't know how, I'm just gonna push group. Highlight that group, see, it moves all together. So this is where I messed up. You see that there's black and that's your background color. You don't wanna layer black then orange then black then white da, da. yeah you don't have to do all that so what you do is I'm gonna move these eyes first no just push back sorry okay radio I'm gonna delete this oh, why isn't it not moving the white part I'm gonna delete not delete I'm just moving well, I guess I'll delete it later and I'm gonna highlight this I don't want to highlight this. I'm just going to delete this right now. I don't want to highlight. Let's see. I'm going to delete this little section because I don't want that in my way. Definitely don't want that in my way. So you see that's all black. Oh, let's make sure we move the ears because you don't want to do anything. Okay, I just want what's going to be black and then that's supposed to be black as well. So what I'm going to do is highlight. See, so you can't do that. You can't move those black circles too. Because you would have to do it on top of that. Anyways, so you're going to highlight this. Right click. Make compound. And that basically what it does is make it hollow. See, I don't like that extra whatever because he has a hole. I want it to be black. I don't want it to be, you know, so I'm just going to zoom in on here for you. I zoomed in. And I'm going to get this. And I'm going to move it until I find my piece there it is so i'm gonna double click this and you see those little squares i'm gonna see that i want to get that thing out so i'm just gonna delete delete point or if you don't want to do it that way you can highlight that again release compound and then go into that little piece click it hopefully that's the right piece push delete Okay, yes it did. And then select it again. Make compound. It'll make that 
Okay, good. I didn't want that part. It'll make it hollow, basically. So then you highlight it just in case all of the orange. Group it. Let's see. And then move it. Because see, look, look. You don't have to layer. You can just do it like that. So then basically now you have to delete all the orange because you don't need it. You don't need all the orange. Let's see. Delete. Delete. Um, you see how that right there is black? Okay, so what you're going to do, let me zoom in. Why is it not letting me zoom? Okay, there it goes. You see this? That's black. So I'm not gonna about to layer that. I mean, I guess you can if you wanna do layers, but I don't wanna do that because I'm just lazy and don't wanna waste vinyl. So I'm gonna select both of them. So basically what you do is click and you select both. Make sure there's only two squares because you don't wanna accidentally select any of that. And you right click, make compound, and it makes it disappear. So basically, see? It's black. It makes it hollow, basically. That's what you're going for. Now, um, I would just delete. Where's his nose at? That's why I make a bunch of copies. See, I already ran out of copies. Delete. Good thing I still have it on my face, so I'll just move him. Where's his nose? That's kind of weird. Oh, I guess it's a black nose. So I would just go and delete that little speckle because you really don't need that speckle. Because, I mean, why would you want a speckle on top of a speckle? I don't know what they're called. So I'm just going to click it and push delete. So then there goes my character. So I'm going to start with this color next because I just happen to do that. And delete. I'm going to delete everything. Thing. So I'm going to delete all this because I don't want his eyes. I just want the brown because that's my next color. Delete. Move this. I moved it because it's going to be harder to delete in there. Well, you can click it, but I like highlighting because I'm lazy. So then I'm going to make sure to touch only those things. Don't make sure it doesn't touch anything over here. So then you do that. You're going to right click and I always push group. Because I want it grouped together, you know. And then I just slide it over there. And there it goes. It's coming together. Whoop, whoop. Sorry. Get a little excited. You can just delete this one. I guess I wasted y'all's time. Sorry. I don't know how to delete edit videos either. So I can't undo that part. But anyway, so I'm going to select all this. Because I want to move it over here. Because I'm, you know, I want to see everything. Because I like to see everything. So I'm going to select these because I don't need that anymore. I don't need this one anymore. I don't need these anymore. I don't need this one. I don't need that black. See how I moved that white? I don't want it to do that, so I push backspace. And basically what you try to do is you just try to get that outer black. Ugh, it always happens. I mean, you're going to sit there for like ever, so don't worry. So then... You just keep trying to select it. And if it works with you, it will work. Oh, look, see? You see that part? Gotcha. And just go up there. Delete that. Because I already did that black. I already did the eyebrows. Earlier, I already did majority of this. Okay, the reason I left these two is because I want to make this hollow, you know, as well. See, because I don't want to layer it. So I'm going to highlight those two. Right click, make compound, and basically it makes it hollow. So then basically when I put it on here, it's already there. See? Isn't that genius? So genius. I'm going to delete this because I don't need it. I'm going to highlight this because I'm going to move it up. That's why I make so many copies. So I'm going to delete all this because I don't need it. I already did this part. Basically, the only thing that's left is, let's see, highlight it all, delete, because you don't really need that. Highlight all that, delete. So then all that's left is this tongue, 
And so what I do, I'm just gonna move the tongue. And these little, these are teeth marks. You don't have to have them there because guess what? Just delete those teeth because the background is black. And now obviously this, so then I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna highlight this because I wanna move it. I never do it on the map because you can't ever see that dang map. I mean, you can change the settings if you want, but I like it because it has numbers. So I'm gonna zoom. That's a good thing about a big screen. So this, I mean, you can measure it right if you want. I mean, I'm, I don't do, I'm not gonna sit there and like try to get it perfect because I'm gonna print it out like this anyways. Now, if it's HTV, you just print it out in sections. Oh, let's move that over there. Okay, so you're gonna print the orange, you're gonna print the black, you're gonna print this part, you're gonna print the eyeballs, and you're gonna print the mouth. You're gonna print those separately. And if you're new at this, it's not gonna print out this color <laughs> unless you put that color paper in there. So whatever color you have, it'd probably be brown, beige whatever that's that color orange it's probably not gonna be this exact color but i'm a visual and i like color and i don't want to you know be all crazy so anyways now if you are doing it for oracle 651 or oracle whichever one you use um not htv then i would keep watching this video and i would click this you know measure it up exactly how you want it like that's so i'm going to show you how to do that so you well, I guess you can do it yourself. Um, did you see that where I was like this? And you're like, oh, but it's not moving. Like, you want to click it. And then move it to exactly how you want it. And then you get your eyeballs and you do the eyeballs. Because that's all that's left. Click it. And then I use this thing to, like, move it slowly. Okay. He looks so cute. Okay. Same. So, Another thing, you can, if you want that black, say you want these ears black, you can move this and just highlight those two items. It'll make, you know, the box. And then right click, make compound path. But, oh, don't do that. Never mind. Scratch that. I don't know why I did that. Oh, because I had it grouped. Sorry. You would have to ungroup it make compound path with just those two colors. I would just leave it like that. Uh, let's put our black guy back. So let's measure this. Yes, that is my kid running in the background because she insists she needs paper. So let's measure this. You know what I just noticed? That's supposed to be, that little thing is supposed to be orange. You see that? I missed a spot. So what I would do is just go back, right click, release compound path, and then click out of the thing, move that one piece, after you release, sorry, ungroup, I forgot to ungroup, sorry, you have to ungroup it because it's still grouped together. So then you ungroup, click that out of the way, then you go and click that one piece that you need, highlight the sec section, right click make compound path it'll group it together for you as you make it compound so then you grab this piece because this is where it goes you put it right here where it goes move it how it's supposed to be so I think it's supposed to be like that so then you highlight that right click make compound path and it's going to do that but you can just easily change the color back see i went back and just colored it so then Okay, so I'm going to measure this perfectly because for the ones that want to do it on Oracle. Oh, look, it looks perfect. So then I'm going to go over here and you see this box draw a rectangle? I'm just going to draw a rectangle. Yeah, probably like, that looks ideal. I'm going to make two because I'm going to put one above his head. Okay. If you're done, do not click. Like, if you keep clicking, it's just going to keep making it. So what you do is make sure to push that arrow. That arrow. And then select these because I did too many. And then you get this square. 
highlight it and then you move it and we're gonna put it right there I'm gonna leave that one on his head you'll see why okay zoom in because my camera's weird sorry if I sound so close to the thing it's because the camera's literally in front of my face so anyways oh I don't like his eyes right there so I'm just gonna move it down probably right there so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna highlight all of this including the squares if you want you could change the color of the squares change it to black change it to black but it doesn't matter because you're gonna make it a different color anyways you're gonna select all of it you're gonna right click copy I minimize my page because I like to make a bunch of pieces I put control V because it's so easy so much easier move it control V or paste move that highlight this one because it needs to get out of the middle paste paste I don't know I'm just gonna make a bunch just because that's me so then I'm gonna do basically what I did last time I'm gonna move this out of the way I'm gonna move this out of the way I just want the black do not move that black whatsoever and then I'm gonna highlight the selection and I'm gonna group it so then I already got the black done so I need to move that black out of the way see I just accidentally did that just push back space until it goes back so basically you're trying to get that black that stubborn black stubborn yeah let's see if it'll get it let's see if that'll do it no, it didn't work. It's not working, so let's zoom in and grab that piece of black. Move it down there, zoom back out, click it, and you delete. And then you're gonna move, I'm doing orange next, by the way. So now I'm just gonna move all the other colors out of the way. Then I'm gonna highlight those group. So then that, see? So that when you align, I want that to be orange as well, so I'm just gonna push, click it, orange see and see how it keeps going to the back so what you want to do is you can either click this one and push bring to the front or you can click this black one and push send to the back because I want that to be the back so I'm gonna grab that basically you just line it all the way up perfectly those squares have to line up so we already did orange we've already done black next we're not gonna do that Next is this color, so you group it, group, make it that beige color, turn beige, and then, see, now if you want it in front of the orange, you can just right click, bring to the front, bring to the front, bring, bring, and then push it like that, I mean, I'm not going to have time to line it up, you know, just delete that, you can delete it as you go, you can delete it after, so all that's left is red. Now, if you're doing HTV, I wouldn't waste all that space. Like, honestly, I wouldn't push squares because, I mean, I, if you do, if you want to, you can. You highlight that, you know, but whenever you print it, it's going to, that's a lot of wasted space. I, mean, I can pretty much eyeball the small things, so I never do. But if you want to, you can just group, do it white, click white you want it white this one you do the same thing delete those eyes but I mean those are pretty small you can kind of do it um, where's group group and I want it red remember so I'm gonna go over there click red and it changes red so that whenever you line it up you line these up perfect It'll go on perfectly, so let's see. Um, click my hand because I lost the page. Drag it until I find it. So, like, if you notice, see, I don't know if it'll let you see. These aren't lined up, and that's why it's uneven. But once you line it up in person, it'll work perfectly. So then, I'm just going to move it until... I'm gonna follow the beige. So I'm gonna click the orange. I'm gonna follow the beige. I'm gonna click the white. Cause that's next. I want it to line up with the beige. 
one more. And then I'm going to click the black because I want it to line up. So pretty much, there you go. So whenever you go to print, it's going to print those. That's going to print like that. That's going to print like this. And I only use this for whenever you're doing Oracle. Don't do it for an HTV because you don't want that on your shirt. So then basically you just layer. I would start, you put the black first. Orange goes on top of the black. So you literally line this on top of this and then flatten it out. And then do whichever one you want to do next. And that's pretty much it. Let's hopefully y'all did this and get it down. Sorry. Ask me questions if needed. <laughs>